All right, guys. Good morning. Code of War 32 here. Check it out. I'm sitting out here on my front patio looking at a mud mess in my front yard. I live in a city. It's kind of nice because your yard is very small. It takes you 20 minutes to mow. I grew up in the country, though, where it took you three days to mow. But the cool thing is you could zero your deer rifle off the front porch. Speaking of deer rifles, <laughs> you guys that uh, are okay with giving up your uh, semi-automatic firearms, otherwise called FUDs, uh, they're pretty much going to turn those deer rifles into a, uh, a weapon of war. A sniper, sniper, precision rifle, meant to do nothing but kill. So yeah, beware of that. All right, another thing I wanted to make an announcement with, I just got an email from Freedom Inc., good friend from down there in Florida. Uh, CRS Firearms set up a GoFundMe for the guys over there at Auto Key Card. And uh, since then, there have been a couple different fake GoFundMe accounts set up, one of which is using Guns and Gadgets, i.e. Jared's uh, YouTube channel logo and face and everything else. So be careful with that. It's some kind of Afaticus Farms or some bullshit out of New Mexico. So beware of that. All right, so what are we doing here? We're talking about two things. One is I want to ask you a question. Why do you need a semi-automatic firearm? I was asked that question the other night at a little function that I went to by a, uh, a liberal lady. And uh, she was very, she almost, almost didn't, why do you need a semi-automatic firearm? I grew up with guns, but why do you need a semi-automatic firearm? And my question I answered to her was because uh, the government won't let me have a full auto firearm. And I said, uh, criminals have semi-automatic firearms. The government has semi-automatic firearms. So why can't I not have a semi-automatic firearms? And uh, I guess her assumption is, is that if I don't have a semi-automatic firearm or that they were illegal, all killings or mass killings would, be, would end. That's their mindset. So let me ask you, what is your uh, answer for someone who says, why do you need a semi-automatic firearm? And I want you to put it in the comment section down below. Be cool, be conscious about it, because I, I told her I was going to ask this question on YouTube. Be, be, uh, uh, be nice, in other words, is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, uh, that's it. Why do you need a semi-automatic firearm? All right, and the second reason for this video is that I've been watching the news lately, and some of the things that are happening in this uh, in this country are very, very disturbing. And the disturbing part is uh, our number one supposed leader, is, uh, is the president, okay, uh, is in a total and complete embarrassment to this country. And it's like, I just, I want to cheer him on now. At some point, I'm just like, I know he's anti-gun and he's for open borders and high taxes and, you know, wants to tax corporations at, at the highest level that he possibly can and, you know, killing union jobs. I asked one of my friends who's a union guy, he said, I asked him, I said, who'd you vote for? And he said, well, I, yeah, I voted for Biden. I said, how do, you, how do you feel now that he's killing all these union jobs, these good jobs, good paying jobs that are out there without a game plan to replace these other people's jobs? But just merely say, you know, as a middle finger to Donald Trump, let's just go ahead and sign this executive order and kill these jobs. Not once did he care about those individuals. What he wanted to do was he wanted to hurt Donald Trump as best he could. And this is one of the ways he could. And he had, does not care about the citizens of this country. He doesn't care about the citizens of this country by inviting everyone from south of the border to enjoy an open border policy. And look at the creation of this thing down below uh, at the border of Mexico. It's not a challenge, ladies and gentlemen. It's an all-out assault on our border. Open borders are, 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 are it's not right. If anybody, and then I get the argument, well, like, you know, um, immigrants pay more taxes and they cost, less. I understand that, cool, immigrant, come across the right way, but to be invited and encouraged to go ahead and storm the borders is not right. It's not caring for our country. And anyone who says it is, oh, it's humane. No, it's not. It's absolutely not humane. And you know what? What a great place to be in the United States, but you need to come here correctly. And for those individuals who think this, this is not, not a wonderful place to live, go down there and ask the people who travel thousands of miles just so they can cross the border because our illustrious leader invited him over and said no problem come on so here we go high taxes open borders anti-gun <laughs> and feeble the mindset ladies and gentlemen so the best way to get something done if you if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, 
um, like to be able to — anyway. I'm, we're going to get a lot done. I encourage his keepers to please keep him in the basement to eliminate any embarrassment to our country. I cheer him on. I want him to do good. At least be able to walk up a set of stairs, carry on a conversation, have a press conference and answer questions without falling asleep or, uh, uh, whatever. We're just going to get it done. That's a total embarrassment to our country. Keep him in the basement. If the alternative is Kamala. And that ain't no good thing. And then you've got Chuck and Nancy. What an embarrassment to this country that these individuals are doing whatever they can to maintain their control by passing illegal laws, or at least attempting to pass illegal laws. Those are my two cents, man, and that's the shit that's going through my mind this week as I attempt to do firearm videos. Oh, we're going to do some more today. I got a 6.5 Creedmoor built by the Live Free Armory guys, and we got the new PSA ARV factory uh, PCC that we're going to put in the competition with the GMR from P uh, uh, what is it, JP. And for those guys who liked the JP PCC and said they loved it, uh, Honest Outlaw, that is the exact rifle that uh, my friend Ethan Manning sent to him for testing and then they sent it to me for testing. So we're going to get it out next week. And we have some uh, level 3 plus armor from the guys over there at RTS Tactical that we're going to throw some stuff at. If I can find my 458 SOCOM upper, what the hell happened to that thing? I have no idea. We're going to shoot it and we're going to create big holes, hopefully. Skoda Boy 32. Don't forget, answer the question down below. Why do I need a semi-automatic firearm? And two, what are your thoughts on this, this guy that is in the Oval Office that can't carry on a full sentence and has to go to bed by 6 o'clock every afternoon? Y'all be good. Always end them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not freedom. Talk about the men and women in uniform who will support and enforce our Constitution as it was written by our Founding Fathers. And when I say enforce, that means that you got to have to ask yourself a serious question. The people giving the orders, are they constitutional? And that's all i got to say. I'm out here. Y'all be good.